Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do a new problem as part of GoMath's 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. It's number 46 on the CSET, a multiple subject math and science teacher certification exam in California. This problem here goes through some core ideas in geometry and algebra. We're going to start by jumping right in, and then as we go along we'll, we'll talk about some of these ideas and solve the problem. Alright, so let's look at number 46 says use the diagram below to answer the question that follows. Take a moment and, and scan over this diagram. Think about what are some of the math concepts you can, you can see just by looking at the diagram. Like maybe you see it has an x and y axis. Okay that's very important. We, we see x and y axis sometimes we think of graphing and points and, and lines and slope. Uh, there definitely are points here point A, B, C, and D. And we see, maybe you saw ordered pairs. When you're writing a point, you always want to write, write the point using two coordinates. And we call those two coordinates um, an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. And those are the ordered pairs for that point. All right. Maybe you noticed that there was a shape here, a four-sided uh, four polygon. Um, we call this a parallelogram. Uh, let's, keep, let's keep going. It says... Given that figure ABC is a parallelogram, what are the coordinates of point C? Well, what is a parallelogram? It's got four sides. It's got that word parallel in it. So think a parallelogram, a four-sided figure with two sets of parallel sides. So this is parallel to this. And this side here is parallel to this. Now parallel shapes, these are, these are, um, these two sides here, if we were to extend these out and they were to go out forever, these two lines would never intersect. So parallel lines are two lines that never intersect. Um, the opposite of parallel, what's the, what's the word for, what's the opposite of parallel? Perpendicular. Perpendicular lines intersect at a 90 degree angle. So we don't, we have parallel, they're, they're never intersecting. All right, we have coordinates and whenever we think of coordinates, thinking of x and y, uh, they're written in terms of x and y, and uh, we, whenever we have a coordinate, I'm sorry, points are expressed as two coordinates. So whenever we have a, a point, we express it with an x coordinate and a y coordinate uh, for a point that's on a two-dimensional grid. Okay, we're trying to find the c here. One way to approach this, and I think that, that will help you tie into some algebra ideas, is if you know this is a parallelogram and that both these line segments are, are parallel, what that means is that both these line segments are both, um, um, that if we extended it out forming a line, both these have the same slope because parallel lines have the same slope, which means we were thinking about in other videos comparing the rise to run, the rise of this and the run of this is going to be the same for both of them. So when you think of slope, think of rise to run. Now what is the rise to run? Well, the rise is how much it goes up from here to here and and we have to focus in on the rise, we have to focus in on the y values. So from this y value to this y value, we're rising plus 2 right? And what about the run? Well, the run, you, you look at the x-axis, because this is the horizontal axis. This is your run. The rise, uh, your run is your, your, your x-axis. Your rise or your fall, you know, we'll say rise is the y-axis. In the, in the run, we're going over from 2 to 4, we're going over plus 2. So this is also plus 2. Now, if this line segment has a slope of 2 to 2, I mean rise to run to, then doesn't it make sense that this one here is also going to go up to and over to? 
So I'm going to add 2 to the y here and 2 to the x. Well, if that's the case, this new point here, the if I add 2 to this y coordinate, it's going to be 4. If I add 2 to this 6 co x coordinate, it's going to be 8. And that gets us to this point. Okay, team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Take care. Bye-bye.